All right, what's up guys? This is Lucas here. So today I have a highly anticipated unboxing, or unpackaging rather. Uh, this contains the UHL Pro. I am uh, almost certain about that, so very excited. Let's just get right into it. All right, cool. So we've got two three by threes. Uh, I assume these are both UHL Pros. Um, and then actually three three by threes, uh, just this one is not standard size. And then a, uh, Cuban Classroom Megaminx. So, I'll get, I'll, I'll just, uh, get to this Megaminx first. Um, I don't really do Megaminx, but, uh, this one looks pretty cool. Whoa. Okay, the grip on this is excellent. Uh, I did not expect it to turn this well. Um, ooh. Obviously, I'm not a Megamix expert, but very smooth, and I like that. Uh, Alright, Mini 3x3. Uh, this one, as you can see, 45 millimeters. Uh, so this is probably Moyu's smallest 3x3, three three. so if you're looking for something tiny, uh, here you go. <laughs> uh, okay, so yeah, this definitely has the stickerless matte finish. I don't really have a preference, honestly, because I don't really use stickerless cubes, but the cube performs uh, just like any other Cubing Classroom 3x3, uh, just as well as the 50mm cube right here. This one's a bit looser, maybe a bit smoother, uh, but this seems pretty durable, honestly. Uh, and now on to the main attraction, uh, I suppose. Uh, the Guoguan Yue Xiao Pro. Pretty interesting though, because it lists Moe right there. Uh, I don't know. But, I'll just get into this one first. Okay, so I've got a black one. Uh, let's take a look. So we've got the designer right here. Uh, oh, nice. Yeah, you see this? Uh, pretty cool. That, that face looks familiar. And then we've got a stand. I've got a whole bunch of these. But uh, let's do some first turns. Okay. Uh, first off, the plastic, I think it's quite a bit harder than the original UA shell, like it feels more along the lines of it feels more like the Alongs plastic, um, Along V2 that is. So you're definitely going to get a durable feeling. Uh, right out of the box, the speed is not spectacular to be honest, but the feeling is really good. Uh, this one is not magnetic, so I'm assuming this one is. But, uh, yeah, I really enjoy the feeling. So I'm sure once this cube is all set up, it'll perform excellently. But, ooh, that's an interesting sound. Okay, so it, it is quite a bit more smooth. You're not going to get as much as of that crispy feeling, you know. Definitely still is there, but just not as prominent. Uh... Yeah. Okay, I like the cube. Really cool. And then, we'll see. Does this have magnets? Yeah, it does. Alright, let's check this one out. Okay. This one does not seem to have much factory lube or something. Uh, it's definitely... Hmm. 
Yeah, it's clicking into place a lot better, which is a bonus. Magnets aren't too noticeable. Ooh, I really like this. Here, let me check out something. Yeah, this cube definitely does snap into place. Uh, I think the original UH I was like that. Uh, hmm. Alright, so if you're not a fan of the blockiness of the GTS2, but you are pretty satisfied with everything else, uh, I would definitely give this one a go. So yeah, this cube really features a unique combination. Stability, uh, flexibility, and controllability. This cube has a lot of potential. Really happy with how it turned out, and uh, should be a main for quite a few people. As always, thanks to Mogu for sending these puzzles out to me. Really appreciate it. And yeah, so I'll catch you guys later.